Hello friends, welcome to Flight Level 070. I am Utkarsh and uh, today I will be answering your questions. I hope I can do justice and uh, if I make any mistakes, I apologize. And uh, I would like to request someone to come up and correct me so that uh, all of us can have a good learning session. Uh, so let's get started. How is an aircraft decelerated while in the air? To break the aircraft in the air, uh, there are spoilers which are panels on the upwards uh, surface of the wing which, uh, uh, which help in disrupting the flow of air hence increasing drag and uh, reducing uh, lift. I'll be uh, using a flight simulator to describe the effects and how it works uh, in a better manner. Um, they, they are used for uh, several purposes. Uh, they help in uh, rolling of the aircraft so to make turns uh, they dump lift on one side of the wing making it turn in that uh, direction and then uh, they are used as ground lift dumpers you must have noticed when an aircraft lands the spoilers deploy they help in increasing drag and dumping all the lift that is remaining on the wing of the aircraft they are um, also used as air brakes uh, in the air to increase the drag and help reduce uh, the airspeed maintaining the same attitude. So let's not delay and go to the flight simulator so that I can explain this uh, better to you. Okay so uh, welcome to flight simulator and uh, let's get uh, started. So here is the A320 aircraft and uh, I'll be showing how the spoilers work. So just to let you know where they are. Uh, I'm giving roll commands so if you can see uh, the you know uh, here these are the spoilers that have been deployed to uh, dump uh, the lift uh, you know increase drag and spoil the airflow on uh, this part of the wing and uh, you know see on the right wing here so let's go inside and show you the movement of uh, flight controls if I go to the flight control page here uh, go flight control and uh, these are the indication you can see speed brake for uh, spoiler so if I give a command for left you can see that uh, the spoilers go up on the left side and if I give a command for uh, right you can see that uh, it's, uh, going up on the right side so pretty much uh, that's it and uh, let's uh, show you another example of uh, you know how they extend on the ground as uh, ground spoilers during landing so let's go back to the outside view and uh, they deploy uh, and they deploy on ground that's how all the spoilers come into play so you notice this one also coming up to get more drag and uh, have uh, more effect uh, in uh, dumping the lift uh, on the wing. So let's uh, get airborne and see how it works. Okay, so uh, now we're airborne and uh, let's see how the spoilers behave uh, when we give a roll command. So I'll give a, a right roll command since we have uh, the uh, right wing view and let's see how the spoilers behave. So once I give the right command, see how the spoiler starts coming up and they increase as I increase the amount of input. Let's get the wing level. So okay, so now uh, we are flying at about 7000 uh, feet and uh, we are at a speed of about 300 knots so let's see how it works in the flight as uh, air brakes so let me deploy and uh, we have a warning that the speed brake is out uh, because uh, since we have a power and uh, we have uh, deployed the speed brakes that is not econ economically good we're going to use uh, more fuel that is why the aircraft is adjusting to uh, you know, uh, retract the spoilers and uh, let's uh, see how uh, it reacts if I maintain altitude. See, uh, 
if I maintain altitude, the air speed is starting to decrease. And uh, if uh, if I uh, want to hold my air speed, uh, my uh, my altitude will start decreasing. So if I'm trying to hold my air speed, my altitude is starting to decrease. And if I try to hold my altitude, my uh, air speed is uh, decreasing. And uh, this is how we can use it in the flight uh, to either increase our rate of descent, which is indicated here or uh, maintain the altitude and uh, reduce our uh, airspeed. What is turbulence? Can it bring an airplane down? Turbulence is uh, abrupt and uh, erratic changes in the flow of air which uh, causes the aircraft to change its uh, attitude or uh, lose or gain altitude and uh, rapid changes in its uh, airspeed. The International Civil Aviation Organization, which is the World Organization for Aviation, has uh, divided levels of uh, turbulence. Uh, first being uh, light, uh, where uh, erratic uh, slight changes to the attitude or altitude might be noticed. And the occupants may or may not feel strain against their seat belts. And providing services or walking in the cabin is uh, not a problem. Then it's a uh, moderate, where... Uh, the amount of uh, change in attitude and altitude is uh, more and uh, you might uh, notice fluctuation in the airspeed and uh, the occupants uh, will feel strain against uh, their uh, seat belts walking and uh, services in the cabin will become difficult and severe turbulence uh, which is very rare but might be experienced will uh, cause uh, large uh, changes in uh, altitude and attitude and uh, large fluctuations of the airspeed even uh, momentary loss of control of the aircraft and uh, the services and uh, walking in the cabin is impossible and a definite uh, strain uh, you know with force is uh, experienced on the seat belts so it's uh, it's very rare that you experience uh, severe turbulence but it does happen and uh, that is why it is uh, very important uh, that uh, all of us always, uh, you know, wear our seat belts while we are seated. And uh, there are different different ways how we can uh, predict or uh, judge or maybe get to know that we might experience turbulence. Uh, we have uh, weather radar in the cockpit. We get, uh, you know, uh, meteorological reports, uh, pilot reports through which uh, if anyone experiences turbulence, they report and then uh, you know uh, you read the report and analyze uh, you know like at a particular place someone else uh, five minutes ahead of you has experienced uh, some amount of turbulence so that uh, you know you can prepare your uh, uh, aircraft accordingly there can be uh, several causes of turbulence uh, such as uh, heat uh, you know thermals uh, lead to convective uh, flow of air uh, causing updrafts and uh, there can be mountain waves due to mountains uh, uh, waves forming and uh, that causing turbulence. Uh, due to there's a, a phenomenon uh, where uh, there are break in uh, upper flow of air uh, that uh, causes a sudden changes in the flow of air where the velocity increases or decreases that leading to turbulence in those areas and uh, you can have a turbulence at a lower altitudes due to the winds interacting uh, with the buildings or uh, different um, terrain which uh, leads to uh, turbulent flow of the air at that level. So the next time you fly through turbulence you can feel safe, it's uh, not an issue, you can inform others as well, they just need to fasten your seat belts. As a crew, as a team we are trying to make the journey as comfortable as we can but sometimes these uh, issues are not in our hand as they say you know you sh you cannot overpower nature and that's uh, been there since uh, aviation started so but it's uh, anyway is not going to bring the aircraft down so you can uh, you know feel safe uh, in our minds there's nothing to be feared uh, from uh, turbulence and um, sooner or later it's going to disappear and you're going to be on the ground safely. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much.